Minds, everyone. I'm once again recording first thing in the morning, and Yoshi and the Akamura are both in my apartment, so I'm having to record a little quietly so you get this sort of NPR radio voice of mine uh, for at least an episode or two. Alright, so this first episode is going to be... Well, you, you actually have an advantage over me about how long it's going to last, because uh, rather than my usual 20 minutes, I'm just going to make this episode settle uh, alderman business. And again, I really thank you guys for really stepping up and helping me give, uh, or help, <laughs> helping me by giving me direction on what to do. And it's uh, easily my favorite part of doing this Let's Play. And as the city grows bigger, so will your expectations and so will the number of orders. So I'll probably have to keep doing this where at the start of every, every recording session, I just work on your stuff. Okay, so we're starting on District 1, but District 1 and 2 don't require anything. I'm checking my notes here. Alright, so the first note I have is District 3. Um, Alderman Smith would like me to build a mall that shares District 3 and District 1, which is Kalos Corner. So I'm going to take a quick look at the district map here. Because that is a good idea with the two trains... Um, train stations right there. That is an excellent idea. That is not the district map. There we go. So I could probably knock out these two. That's kind of bright in your eyes, but anyway. I can probably knock out these two blocks and uh, which will make some peeps unhappy, but the trains are right here and that's actually a really good idea. I believe I have a special commercial building in here somewhere. The Mall of Moderation. There we go. Alright, so the Mall of Moderation... Yeah, this will be perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to not... Whoa. I'm going to do that. We're going to knock down... First, we're going to pause. And we're going to knock down these houses. We're going to knock down the connecting road. And we're going to dezone it. Okay, so that's one big open happy patch. And now we're going to build our Mall of Moderation. Right. Uh, that's mainly centered. Yeah. Right there. And then we'll decorate the back of it with some parks that'll help out both districts as well. So usually I don't want to, um, usually we won't have uh, aldermen making decisions for other districts, but this helped both districts out. So it kind of works out. I'm actually going to use bigger parks. Let's see, can I use, is it, that's the biggest one? I think so. One there, one there, and then I can do a tiny park. Ugh, I can't get it centered. So, there, at least it's centered to the road right there. There we go. Alright, so now... Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good, actually. And now the mall is right next to those uh, train stations, and that should draw some more peeps to come and visit for tourism purposes. Alright, so we are going to make a note of that. Okay. Alright, game, unpause. So, the next, uh, the next thing I have is for District 4, which is that one lonely chick's district. She wishes me to rename it to Bad Nico. So, what, Bad Kitty? <laughs> and enact, um... Recycling and a smoking ban. Done and done. All right. Make that change on my note. When I say notes, I actually have an Excel spreadsheet here. And because, uh, you know, this is the 21st century. Who uses pen and paper anymore? All right. Now, my next note is J District 5, which is Alderman Almansor. For Midopolitan. Uh, let's see. 
find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, he wants high dis. Uh, he wants high density everything, offices and high taxes to help. So, this is going to require a little bit more uh, work. I need to see where his district line stops because I don't remember. Okay. I think high density will work even in small blocks like this, and I don't remember for sure, but we're going to try it. So, I'm going to put the office zones here because it seems... Oh, I can't. I'll have to... Yeah, I have to de-zone first. Um, I'm going to put the office zones on the left because then they can actually serve as a buffer <clears throat> between... Um, they can serve as a buffer between the uh, rest of his district here and, like, the pollution area, which is bad. You know, we don't want the pollution area to spill over here, so this can work as a buffer. Alright, but then everything else is high density, so we'll go high density commercial here. trying to anyway. The tool is not quite liking me today. Okay, and then we'll do high density. And this is this is one thing that does annoy me about the game, that you can't upgrade zones like you can um, in SimCity. I, I sort of see the purpose in that, though. Because this way you won't accidentally unzone something that you have a plan for. But I don't know. Let's just do it this way, me. Yeah, it's, it's a lot more sure that it'll work. Forget if... Those parks? I can't remember how I set this district up. It's kind of bad. It's been a while since I've played. Which would be the main reason. All right, there we go. So high density, everything. And then he wants me to do higher taxes. Um, I mean, I may as well just, we'll just do tax raise for everything and see what happens. And uh, yeah, that should do it. We'll just do tax raise for everything. So. That'll start providing more money from that district. And you can see down here on the bottom corner, just those few changes I've made already, um, I'm only making a pittance of what I was making just a minute ago. But once these buildings come up, I'll be making a lot more. All right, so, okay. All right, next is District 6, which is Alderman Kirkham. And that's on Intelligence Island. And he wants a bus stop, free public transport, and heavy vehicle ban. I'm going to do those first. So, uh, free public transport and heavy traffic ban. Done. All right. Now for the bus stop. Um, I've mentioned before in a previous episode that you can basically make lines... Uh, as long as two lines intercept, then your peeps can change buses and keep going. So this is actually a really good idea because we have um, all of our bus lines currently cross over each other somehow. Wait. No, they don't. District 13. And these districts don't have a bus that runs together. Hmm. Well then... Let's, uh, let's fix that first. All right, let's make the line, we'll just make it along the main road here. Wait a minute. That's not going to help me because I don't, uh, there we go. Now I can freaking see. All right, so, boop, boop. And then we'll go boop. And that will combine them. There we go. Okay, so... Oops. Son of a... 
bitch. Ah, oh, now I have now I'm gonna have trouble seeing the line. Alright. Uh, uh oh oh. There we go. Okay. So that goes here and then here. Right? Right. Okay. Alright. I got it. Anyway, um, on the same vein, we can make a bus stop right here. And then we'll connect it to here. And then we'll just bring it back around. So that one's a simple bus stop, but it actually, uh, links up the rest of the city. Because so I think, yeah, they're connected up here too. Okay, so this this way people can use buses and, I mean, they'll have to transfer around, but um, they can now take a bus all the way to Intelligence Island. And that's really interesting. Um, I, uh, I, I made a mistake when I went to college. And what I mean by that is um, not the fact that I went to college, but I picked the wrong one. Uh, I picked a college that... Um, I picked a college that isn't taken seriously. Whoops. Sorry, I'm making notes here while I'm talking. Um, so I, I I picked a college that um, isn't taken seriously. It's University of Phoenix. And part of the reason I took it was because at the time, um, I thought that was the only college that was nearby that I could take, that I would have the time to deal with, uh, because I didn't drive and I didn't, you know, but then I find find out long after um, I got out of college that we have a college nearby called Wright State, and there's a bus that goes from the center of town, which I could have easily walked to in two minutes. There's a bus that goes from there all the way to the college and back, and that college is actually taken seriously and has um, uh, it, it has uh, uh, classes that I would be actually interested in, and it gave me a little regret that uh if i could do it all over again i would actually go to right state so um so anyway yeah that bus stop is a little near and dear to my heart for intelligence island for that reason all right the next district is district nine which is Knott's landing which i believe is over here somewhere with all the buildings and everything in our way i keep having to refer back to the district map oh there it is okay so, Knott's Landing, Alderman Sumler wants Parks and Recreation, and Recycling, and he wants me to increase health coverage into his district. So, uh, we are going to grab ourselves a clinic or hospital. Uh, like... You guys actually... Knott's Landing is actually not so bad. In fact, if I put a hospital down, it's going to help District thir uh, 12 and 14 more than you guys. But that's actually useful because that's what needs to happen. So we'll put a new clinic... Instead of put a hospital? Yeah, okay. We'll put a hospital... Is that a one-way or a two-way? two-way. All right. We'll put a hospital right here along this major road because there isn't much traffic coming out. So this way, this will cover even more of District 12, but it'll also cover Fangorn Forest. Or, er, District... <sighs> this hospital will not only cover Knott's Landing, but it will also cover Fangorn Forest and District 12 and most of District 14. So this is actually an excellent location for this building. Look at all that. Look at all that happiness. So, Knott's Landing is better covered, uh, along with all these other districts. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so that covers his. So, copy paste. And QRP. I always forget where those letters come in the alphabet for some reason. It's very embarrassing at being 32 years old. Okay, District 10 is Alderman TC's district with the name I have trouble pronouncing. Let's see if I can... There it is. Okay, and 
He has a lot of changes he would like me to make. Um, education boost. Free public transport. Smoke detectors. Recycling. Parks and Rec. Uh, gotta scroll my sheet. Uh, high tech housing. Raise taxes. Uh, high density everything. Alright, we'll do that in just a second. Buses, a train station. A heavy traffic ban until the district is no longer a border district. Okay. There we go. Alright, so... Man, high district everything. Okay, once again, we're going to pause for a minute while I work that out. Alright, where's the district map? Have to remember where the line stops. Okay, so you've got, like, 14 blocks here. Man, I wish I could keep that up. So we go like, wait, yeah, because those over there are already, hi, okay. So, boom, and then, and those are, see, did he say offices or not? No, no offices. Okay, so then we'll just do high dense commercial here and here. Those are all public buildings. Okay, there we go. And then unpause, and now all those buildings are going to collapse. <laughs> but uh, they will all come back shortly. All right. Um, okay, and then buses and train stations. All right, that's going to take. I'm. I think I'm gonna have to belay the train station one until I buy this piece of land here. Because, I mean, I guess theoretically I could stick a train station here and run its line all the way around. That seems a little obnoxious, but actually, that won't be too bad. I'll just have to move the, the um, soccer field. Okay, eh. let's move the soccer field. All right, so now, all right, this one's gonna be a little involved, but that's okay. You can see what's going on to my money down there and the fact that um, going this involved in your changes can kind of mess you up a little bit. Not too badly, but like my money is plummeting, and it's because um, we're making a bunch of radical changes at once. So, let's see, can I... If I... Whoa, whoa, not that tight. Not that tight. There we go. Then, straight track... There we go, yeah. Wow, I was able to pull that off okay. that either. Let's see, how can I do this without making it look ridiculous? Oh, I can just feed it in that way, and then I can have another one coming. Like that. There we go. Alright. Hmm. That works out. Now it's connected. Okay, now I'm gonna <laughs> have to <laughs> copy and paste that nonsense. Okay, education boost. Free public transport. I actually have to retype it for reasons. Smoke detectors. Uh, Parks, this is, I know, super thrilling for you guys, since you're not seeing this part, you're only seeing uh, the game running. Alright, and then... High-tech housing. And... 
raised taxes. And uh, if you guys want to, um, oh, heavy traffic ban. If you guys want to uh, give me, um, like, if you want to specify which taxes to raise and lower, go ahead. I'm just assuming you're talking about all taxes until I have a reason to suspect otherwise. Okay, heavy traffic ban. Okay. And that takes care of the to-do list. And now I'm going to double check my cash flow because it's, yeah, it's getting pretty low there. The problem with all these high-rise districts is that, um, like, we don't quite yet have the population to support all of these high-rise districts. But that's okay. Like I said, I'll roll with that. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. The next to-do list is Fangorn Forest because Alderman Nan uh, Natonio wishes me to rename it to a hockey town. Which is apparently what people call Chicago when the Blackhawks are doing well. Which is adorable and I like it. Alright, so... Uh, hockey town. Okay. Chris Engel in District 12 wants high density everything as well. Oh my god, dude. Alright, um... Alright. I'm gonna call a pause. I may have to start using my veto power here in a minute. Alright, let's see. I've got... Oh wow, I have nothing that's high density right now for District 12. Let's see where the line goes. Okay, it's including this bottom row. Alright. So, zoning. Alright, so the offices cannot be high dense or low dense. They are just offices. So, that works out. So, gonna do that. And let's see. D zone those. And D zone those. Switch it to a high density commercial. I need a little tile to work with. There we go. Alright. High density commercial. And high density residential. Oh, dude. We're gonna lose so much money. <laughs> Alright. Um, Alright. Okay. Um, Alright. My next to-do list. Let's see. Districts 13 and 14 are still unclaimed. Uh, District 15, uh, the only thing I have on the to-do list for, from Alderman Gulovolt is to add my Pyro Falcon Monument, which I still haven't 100% decided what I'm going to do about that, so, um, I'm going to wait a bit on that. Um, District 16, which is Wolferia, Alderman Jack would like me to do a free public transport. Let's see if I, I don't remember where that even is. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, it's the big district here. Okay. So, free public transport. Done. Okay. District 17. Oh, shit. Paste. There we go. Okay, District 17. Come on, game. District 17 had no owner, but now District 17 has been claimed by Alderman Crowbeak, and she wishes me to name the District Guy Pan, and she wishes for, let's see, Pet Ban, um, no drugs, so it's, it's no drugs by default, uh, but, okay, no smoking, no boosted education, oh, put as much... <laughs> Put as much tyrant into it as the game allows. That's what it was. Okay, so we can do tax raises here. And... Hmm. Did she say high-tech housing? No, she did not say high-tech housing. Okay. Um, that's about as much as I can do at the moment. So we'll have to go from there. Um, wow, guys, our population has plummeted. 
as well as our uh, financial situation, we are deteriorating <laughs> quite rapidly. Um, but, uh, okay, so that's pet ban, smoking ban, and that's basically it for what she wishes me to do at the moment. And then District 18, this is our final thing on the to-do list. <laughs> Uh, District 18 has been claimed by Ryu D, and he wishes it to be renamed Dragon Row. Policies are high tech housing. Oops. Uh, smoke detectors, education boost, free public transport. Do I have anything else on the list? Along with buses and local schools. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to not do that at the moment because I need to see what kind of damage everything else has done um, and try to recover some of this, but I will keep that in mind. So we have high-tech... Ha oh, okay, Excel. I mean, open office. Housing... Smoke detectors. Uh, education. Boost. I know this is very enthralling. Let me unpause for you guys. Okay, and then free public transport. And then I'm going to... Uh, let's see. So bus routes and local education options. So that'll be, uh, that will remain on the to-do list, bus routes and local education options once I get the rest of the city stabilized and I know what I'm doing. And District 19 remains unclaimed. All right, so we have concluded all of our aldermen business and, oh, I forgot the District 19 doesn't even have anything in it. It's been a while since I've played. Um, yeah. So, that is our city that we have all <laughs> made together. I feel sabotage, as Ayla likes to say. Although it's less sabotage, it's just more that we don't have a good balance of things. But um, I will work with that, because I am mayor. And we will try to start the recovery process in the next episode. So thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you tomorrow for another one.